Hey everyone, today I wanted to make a video. It's not a step-by-step -step tutorial video. It's not a motion motivational video, even though some of you are going to get motivation from this. Uh, but it's a mental video. It's a video that talks about uh, the mindset specifically, where we describe the mindset. Uh, the reason why this is important, guys, is because I realized that if one person had mentioned this comment, there has to be more people who think this way. And um, the reality is, is that maybe, maybe after watching this video to its full ability, you know, its full length, you might change your mindset as well. We talk a lot about Redbubble here. Okay, this video is about just generally passive income, but it will be applied to Redbubble. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to read this comment here and I'm going to go ahead and address it. And I'm going to actually tell a story here. And the story uh, has a reason why I'm going to tell the story. But let's just ho hopefully if you guys are interested, just stay till the end. And I promise you it will be worth your time. Okay, I'm going to read the comment. And this is in quotes. It says you want to make more money. Just do more work. Quotation mark. It is not that is not what is called passive income. That's why most people on these online earning avenues are just worse than a steady day job for most people. But for those who are especially talented can gain more from working independently. Okay. So, let's go ahead and and dissect this comment. To to a lot of people I know this this might not make sense, but what this person is basically saying is he's quoting what I'm saying, which by the way, that is not my exact quote. So let's just get that clear. But he's quoting what I'm saying, and he's saying, and by the way, I blurred out the name. Maybe he might not want his name seen. I'm going to start doing that if I start replying to comments uh, on YouTube here. But anyways, he's saying, you want to make more money, just do the work, as if that is a quote that I'm saying. Now, the pretense of that is obviously correct, right? At the end of the day, if you want success, if you want more income, if you want something added to your life, don't you have to produce it? Or is it just going to show up from thin air? Okay, that's number one. Okay, so the next concept here is saying this is not what is called passive income. That's why most of these online earning avenues are worse than a steady day job. Now, let's go ahead and tackle this. Okay, when I talk about passive income, in no way am I berating, making fun of, disrespecting, or dishonoring people that do day jobs or the day job itself. In fact, I've actually said this on my YouTube before. That getting a day job is a blessing. If you're feeding your family, if you're uh, building a business while you have a day job, if hell, you're just even if you're working, uh, you know, you're living with your parents and you have a day job, you're blessed. You're blessed that you have an income source because there's a lot of people out there in the world today that that can't find a dollar. They can't make any money. They don't have the ability to get a job or or uh, walk to work or even get a you know a bus ride to work or even a car to work. Right. So in no way am I doing that. Now, what this person is saying, you have to be especially talented to work independently. Right. Like to work for yourself. Let's just go ahead and get this clear. When I first started doing business, I wasn't talented. I wasn't skilled. I had no idea how to even do the basic of things. I didn't know how to even I like I couldn't tell you guys. I didn't know how to even use Canva. I didn't I didn't know of Canva. Canva didn't exist or at least I didn't know it existed. Um, none of this stuff was there readily available to me. You think I just kind of created it in my mind? No. In fact, 100% of us who start are not born with any kind of skill, with any kind of talent. This is a learning game. And the reality is, is you have to work to get to a level where you are, quote unquote, skilled enough to become independently successful. So what this comment is really saying is that they're mad at me for saying that you have to work hard to be able to make passive income. And instead, he's saying it's not about hard work. It's about talent. And you have to be naturally talented to be able to work independently. Therefore, a steady day job is better than a passive income. There's a lot of people watching this today who would trade any day passive income for their day job. That's number one. Number two I am not this, you know, putting day, jo day jobs down. Day jobs are a blessing, like I said. But the thing is, is that this YouTube channel is what I want to call the North Star, in a way, of inspiration, motivation, and direction for people that want to move towards that direction of working independently, working for themselves. 
Now, do they have to work for themselves? No. I mean, maybe they have this as a side hustle. Maybe they have it as a, you know, just something that they do for fun. But do they have to actually get a job? Absolutely not. Now, I want to address this hard work thing that I keep talking about, guys. The reason why I always talk about hard work and why it's so important is because that's the one thing that makes the difference. It's the one thing that you can't buy at a store. It's the one thing that, you know, it's not found in a software. It's the one thing that cannot replace anything else. The ability to go out there and get out of bed and work hard. That's the thing that makes this whole thing difficult. Do you think if it was easy that everybody would do it? Of course everybody would do it if it was easy. But what happens is is people try it and then they give up, right? And there's no shame in that. But what I'm saying is is that we have to change the mentality in the world today that success is supposed to come easy. Like, success is not easy. There was this uh, guy who commented in the comments literally a half hour ago. I wanted to respond to his comment, but it was literally gone after that, um, where he was saying, you know, your your uh, your innately weird, uh, masculine, aggressive tone uh, is is harming people, not helping them. Uh, guys, you have to be hard. You have to be aggressive if you want to make passive income. It's not a walk in the park. It's not easy. I don't know who sold people this dream. I don't. I don't know who it was who sold people this idea, this dream that passive income is easy. Like you have to be a warrior in a way. Man or woman, you have to you struggle a little bit. You think it's going to be easy? Like, if you think it's going to be easy, maybe that's why the, 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 the failure rate is so high. Because people try something for a week, and they say, you know what? Uh, it doesn't work. I'm out of here. Let me try to find something else, and something else, and something else. And it keeps going to where they find nothing, and then they write off making money online completely. Just like I remember my uncle, when he said to me, what do you do? And I said, I make money online. Right, I have like websites and blogs, and he's like, "No, no, no! What do you do? Like that stuff is fake. No, it doesn't work." Do you get what I'm trying to say, guys? The mentality by a lot of people is this idea that it is 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 very esoteric. It is almost uh, unbelievable in some sorts. Now, the reason why I want to say this is because I actually want to tell a story, and this is a very quick story, but I actually learned about this and I read about this is that back then there used to be African tribes. And what would happen is the in these African tribes is that there would be young folk, young men growing up. And these young men were first boys, and then they would become youth, and they would grow up. And, and as they would grow, what would happen is, is the, the there would be a conspiracy formed against this young man. So th let's say the village would see this young man, and they would see him start to develop, start to grow. His voice would get a little bit deeper. He would start growing some facial hair. Mind you, he's still young, 13, 14, 12, right? So whatever, whatever age it was that he was starting to develop into becoming a man, right? He would start to get some, you know, uh, body hair, things like that. And what they would do is they would form a conspiracy behind his back, and they would come, the, the men of the village, the, the, you know, the elders, the men, the group of the village, they, they would go out to the parents and they would say, listen, your boy is getting older, okay? He's going to be the next in line to hunt for, for our, tr our tribe. And without him, we don't make it. We die. And what he has to do is he has to become initiated. And essentially what initiation really is, is where they come in while the boy is sleeping, while the whole family is sleeping, but while the boy is sleeping, and mind you, the mom and the dad, everybody's in on this. Everybody knows about this, but they keep it a secret. And they strip the boy from his village, and they come in with these big scary masks, and they strip him, making loud sounds and very uh, life-threatening, you know, it's a life-threatening situation for the boy. The boy has no idea what's going on. And they take him and they throw him in the jungle, and they give him a, a, a task, right? And the task is something uh, very, very difficult, very difficult. It could be something like kill a panther or, you know, hunt this animal or do whatever it is. That's why there was this uh, joke in um, uh, in uh, the movie uh, Coming to America 2 or something where I forget what the character's names was, but one of the guys said, you have to go get the whiskers of a lion, right? That was like the task. Well, it was things like that. It was these very odd, very, very, very mind-blowing difficulty level tasks that the that this young boy has never been exposed to. And if he comes back, survived the process, he is now initiated and he becomes a man of the tribe. And he's not a boy anymore. He's a man now. 
And what this really is, guys, and this relates today is because we have to initiate ourselves into success. There's going to be a long road ahead, a long road ahead. And if you're not willing to survive through that long road ahead, then this game isn't for you. And if you think that it's supposed to be talent that gets you through it, you're sadly mistaken. It's not talent. It's not skill. The skill is developed. It's hard work. Without hard work, you don't develop skill. You don't develop talent. You don't develop any sort of uh, any sort of characteristic that's going to help you throughout this road. Okay. Now, what I, the whole the whole reason behind this story is? I want you to realize is that every quote unquote hero, because you're a hero in your own world, in your own journey. Everybody listening to this is a hero. There is a journey to become the hero. Hence, the hero's journey. If you can't go through that journey, then you're not going to be the hero. And the, to that guy who commented, I can't remember who his name was, but he, he said, uh, and, and his comment disappeared, like I said, he was saying, oh, what's the deal with this aggressive masculine tone? This is too much and all this. I mean, what do you guys want me to say? You guys want me to say it's going to be easy and sell you a dream like all these other guys? Or do you want me to be realistic? Do you, you want me to be realistic and tell the truth that, hey, guys, you want to make a full-time passive income, 36000 a year on average? It's going to take 60 designs a day every single day for the whole entire year. That's not easy. And by the way, we, with the courses and everything, we try our best to uh, push the information forward that there are ways to simplify the process. Yes, you can use bots to help you through the process. Yes, you can, you know, use a method just like I did that helps me create 60 designs per day uh, in 34 minutes. Yes, you could use all these tools. Yes, you could use softwares. Yes, you could do all this. But the one thing that you do need, no matter how many shortcuts, shortcuts there are, is you have to realize that this process is, is a process. It's a journey. It's character development. You're learning things about yourselves that you've probably never experienced in your life before. And no other situation in life has called on these characteristics more than ever. Right? So, I know this video is not a tutorial. It's not a click-by-click. -click, but really what it is is a mindset video. And the important thing about the mindset, guys, is that you can't be given the mindset. I can't hand it to you. It's either you have it or you don't. And everybody has it in them. The truth is everybody has it. It's about the people who want to awaken that in them. You guys hear stories of, you know, the 120 pound mom lifts up the car over the children. You guys hear these stories? These stories aren't fake. They're not myth. What do you think it is? It is that pure dedication to a task at hand. We need to be extremely, extremely dedicated to the task at hand if we want to see real success. And I'm not going to ramble on any further. There's going to be a group of people who find this video extremely valuable because they realize, listen, this is video is a reminder for me to keep moving forward, to keep pushing regardless of the outcome. But then there's going to be other group of people that say, no, you know, you're full of BS. This is this is not true. This is fake. This is not realistic. But then I say to those people, OK, if not this, then what else is it going to be blogging for you? Is it going to be uh, being an artist where you just draw and sell pictures of paintings? Is it going to be going back to your day job? What is it going to be for you? Because I can tell you, it doesn't get easier than Redbubble. I'm telling you this right now. It does not get easier. I've said this in the very beginning, and I'll say this till now. Posting designs on Redbubble.com is one of the easiest ways, if not the easiest, to make money online. I'm just going to keep it real. I'm going to be 100% honest. There's no requirements up front. There's no strategy. There's, I mean, there is a strategy, right? But And there is things that you need to improve. But there is no um, roadblocks is what I really want to say. There are no roadblocks. There's nobody stopping you. As long as you follow the rules, you, you create a strategy, you can move forward in that arena. It doesn't get easier than that. I, I've talked about blogging before, right? I've had a whole series about blogging. Something that I I've habitually do is... I create blogs around things that I enjoy doing. So woodworking, I had a blog around woodworking. I eventually sold that blog. Uh, things like that. Blogging is one of the hardest, in my opinion, ways to make money online. But it's extremely profitable. And you got to realize that the harder the task is, right, the more profitable it will become. But it doesn't come right away. It takes an extremely long period of time. The easier a task is, the less profitable it will become. Why do you think you get, on average, 20% profit from Redbubble? 
That's the average amount. And of course, you can control the print percentage of, of uh, profit. But why do you think that is? You know, you sell a product for $10, you're making two bucks. You're selling a product for $30, you know, you make, I don't know how much that is, a few dollars, right? You sell a sticker, you make 20 cents, 50 cents, right? Why do you think that is? It's because it's easier. There is no barrier to entry. Anybody can do it, right? So what my what I'm trying to say with all this is, is that guys, it's not just men, by the way, it's women too, all of us, all of us. If you want to be in this space of entrepreneurship, right? Regardless of what task you're doing, Redbubble, any other task, we need to look forward in, in, a, in a mind frame of acceptance towards the harsh reality of making money online, which the harsh reality is, it's not what the tabloids say. It's not what the headlines say. You won't make money overnight if you put very little effort, right? It's not like I could just start today and then tomorrow I end up with five grand. It doesn't work that way. If it worked that way, guys, I'd be all over it. I'd, I'd be, and I would have made videos on it, but that's not the reality. The reality is, is that you have to work endlessly every single day trying to keep become better. And it, it doesn't matter what niche, what industry, what platform, it doesn't matter what category, whether you do print on demand, whether you do Shopify, whether you do FBA, whether you do e-commerce, whether you do KDP, I, the list goes on and on and on. It doesn't matter. Everything takes effort. Nobody is skilled out of the gate. Nobody just has skills. Nobody's born with skills. You develop skills. You develop talent, right? And that's really it, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully, this video was not only inspirational but informative. And uh, hopefully, you guys like the little story that I told, all right? I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Bye.